Hello, Andrea here. So let's talk about why some of the reasons could be that you were unsuccessful, unfortunately, on your first or even second or third board exam attempt. So I'm going to give you some very hard truths of some key reasons why I feel students are unsuccessful. And if you're doing any of these things, I suggest not doing them. So then that way you can pass the next time and I can absolutely help you with that. Of course, please reach out to me if you need any help. So number one is I find if students don't have a focused way of studying. So when students come to me and say like, Andrea, how can you help me? I was unsuccessful on my first, second or third board exam attempt. Even if they don't sign up for any of my tutoring courses, I ask them a, a couple questions first. Like, okay, let's try to figure out why you were unsuccessful and go from there. The number one reason I feel is that people just didn't have a very focused way of studying. I do ask them, how many times a day were you studying? How were you studying? What were you studying? And if the, if the answer is, well, you know, I have a full-time job, I have kids, I was usually able to study a couple hours a night, I just kind of opened up my textbook, picked a chapter, and just did a topic, like, every night. Well, that is not focused studying. You need to make sure to read and study every single topic. Of course, if you plan to just read the textbook from start to finish, that's not helpful either because you'll be studying way too much, learning way too much that's not on the board exam. You do not want to learn everything you learned in school. That's too much. That's physically impossible. I couldn't even teach that. You want focused studying specifically what you have to know for the board exam. And that's where a tutoring program can come into place because we are tutoring students who have taken the board exam and passed because our modules are per, to per topic and focused studying. Each module isn't 25 hours of studying. It's two hours, maybe three, sometimes four. Sometimes it does take a couple days or sometimes it's much shorter. For example, nutrition is a short module. They do not ask you a lot about nutrition on the board exam, but they ask you enough where you do have to study three hours of nutrition. But I don't want you to study 10 hours because that's too much and that's a waste of your time. But then pharmacology, you have to study that a lot more. That can take several days but if you're studying the wrong things in pharmacology, it's a waste of your time. You want to study the more common things, the questions that have been asked on the board exam before, applying critical thinking. So that is where focused studying comes into play. Number two, the another big issue that I see, and I do understand it, but I'm being honest and truthful with you guys, is if you have a full-time job, you have kids, you tell me I do not have time to study every day well, then you're not going to pass the exam. Do you wanna pass the exam or not? Do you wanna be a dental hygienist or a dental assistant or not? You need to take days off. If you say you can't afford it, well, guess what? You probably can't afford to keep taking the board exam, can you? You can't afford to take the dental hygiene program and or the dental assisting program and then fail the board exam too many times where you have to take the program, the program again to redo it. You can't afford that either. So you need to make the time, even if it's just taking off every Friday and taking that time to study before you take the board exam, you will pass, but you need to devote the time. Get out of your head that you don't have time or you have kids, you have things, you have, you have other priorities. If that's truly the case, you can still make time. Passing the board exam should be your priority, okay? So another thing that I find is, let's say you graduated and you plan to take the board exam 12 months from now. That's too long. You can't possibly study properly over 12 months. You can, but you're going to eventually feel like all you do is study. So then you're going to study less. And less. And then you're going to say, well, I'm not taking the, the board exam for eight more months. I'll just study a couple months before. And then you forget. And then it's a month before. And then you're like, oh my God, I have to take the board exam. And you're not prepared. So do not wait too long before you take the board exam. But also, don't be too quick with it either. If you've graduated and you can take either 
the next round of board exam is in two months or in six months, if you feel confident enough to take the one in two months, no problem. But if you're like, oh my God, I have to study in two months. Oh my God, this is impossible. Don't force yourself to take the sooner board exam. Take the next one in six months or however it happens to work out. You know better than I do. That's a very common question is students ask me, when do you feel like I should take the board exam? I can't answer that for you. I don't know. You need to know and feel confident in taking the board exam. Kind of like you taking exams in school. Think about when you felt very confident before taking an exam and you did well. You were confident because you took the time to study. Think about the ones where you were unsuccessful, where you, where you maybe failed or didn't do well at an, at an exam in school. It was probably because you didn't have time to study and you did not feel confident ahead of time. The board exam is no different. You have to feel confident, you have to study for it, and you have to be prepared. That could happen for you next month. If you can study every day, six hours, I can help you, no problem. But if you can't, then in six months might be a better time to take the board exam. So those are just kind of some key points, you guys. But please take that and really focus on that first. And then let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.